Richard, one would think with every central banker in the world turning the money crank as quickly as his or her arm can go, that it would be, have been a good couple of years to own precious metals, but it's been a disaster. We have a, uh, we have a report from one of the major silver miners today. Does the misery continue? It certainly does. This is Hochschild, which is a London-listed Peruvian miner. Mm. It actually came out with a 15 cent loss in dollars, which was as it was worse than expected. But the problem they've got is simply one of a falling silver price and a, another problem which is called too high costs. Mm. They're trying to fix it. Miners all over the world, it seems like, are busily firing people and closing their higher cost mines as quickly as they can. Have these guys kept up with that? They've done everything in the manual. In fact, they've, they've cut capex, they, they've done all the usual stuff. So they've cut capex, they've cut the operating costs, they got rid of a whole load of people, that, which comes off as an exceptional in their results for mm. quite some time. They've also really just tried to um, do the usual thing of just pumping up the volume a little bit too. Right. So they're all in sustaining costs, which is the number that miners and people in sweaty shirt sleeves and things like to look at, right. is about $17.40 um, 40 an ounce mm. now. And that was 21.7, I think it was, as recently as 2012. But not enough to keep up with the falling That's silver right. price. That's right. Silver price is at about 15.50, the spot market. You cannot make that up on volume. No, you can't. These guys have also tried the other trick, which is hedging. So they've sold forward a whole, probably about a third of their output at mm. uh, 17.75, but they're still not getting there. So with that gap between cost and the price of the commodity, what's the future hold? You need an ultra low cost project up your sleeve and they've got just that in Peru. It's called Immaculada, based on Immaculate Conception, mm. translated back into English and I think it was well conceived. The question is whether they can deliver and that is the question now that everyone is focusing on because that could bring down their all-in sustaining costs closer to $12, $11. Um, an ounce and it's going to be, well, we just have to hope, hope that the silver price doesn't keep going. But it, over time, as it ramps up, that price could come, that cost could come down to about 10 bucks an ounce, something like that. So everything is hinging on this Immaculata project. Mm. All right. Thanks, Richard.